Welcome to the Advanced Hobby Lab. Today, I'm going to build a robot dog. I'm going to go through the full build process from 3D printed parts to a finished robot dog. The best part is that this is a project that you could do at home. This design is called Spot Micro. It is an open source project that is based on Boston Dynamics famous Spot Robot and is great for educators and hobbyists to use for experimenting with walking robots. As an open source project, there are many variations on the design. I will be building the variation called Spot Micro V2, which was designed to make the assembly process easier. Links for this project are in the description below. I've already gathered all the parts I'm going to need for this. I have a Raspberry Pi version 2, an Adafruit servo hat, some ball bearings, a buck converter, a 5.2 amp hour 2 cell LiPo battery, 12 servo motors, and a bunch of screws. I've also got all the parts 3D printed and ready for assembly. Let's get started. First I want to unpack all the servo motors, remove the servo and the little packet of screws, save those for later. Next, I add these little rubber grommets to each of the servo motors. It is important to zero our servos first, so we know what angle to use when we're installing them. Let's start by putting together one of the legs. The legs have to be built from the bottom up, so let's start by adding a servo motor to the wrist. For the mid limb, we need to add a ball bearing to the red half. This should fit into the peg on the wrist. The gray half can then slide in to complete the mid limb. A single screw is used to secure the two halves together. Now we can add the servo that will be used to rotate the limb. Shoulder joint is up next. With the shoulder joint mounted, we now need to add the servo that will be mounted to the chassis.
before we're finished, we need to add the foot. Now we just have to do that three more times. All done. Now I'm going to start working on the chassis. Now is the time to start adding the legs. I'm going to start with the front pair. Now I can add the back pair. I'm having a little trouble with these screws trying to get them to hold on tightly. I'm trying longer screws to see if that would do any better. I might just have to reprint the part. I'm going to start routing all the servo wires into the inner chassis.
I'm going to install the Raspberry Pi now. There are four small pegs on the base plate. I need to align that with the mounting holes on the Raspberry Pi. I had to add some small servo cable extenders to the wires coming from the servos and the wrist so that they would be long enough to reach the servo hat. Unfortunately, the 5.2 amp hour battery doesn't seem to fit inside the chassis. Now I just need to add on the outer casing. All that's left is to finish the underside. Build is now complete. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.